Hmm. Welcome back to Let's Play Lego Harry Potter Years 5 through 7. This is Year 5, Level 6. We're doing the final level of Order of the Phoenix, and we're taking the Thestrals to the Ministry of Magic. Let's go. Here we are in the Department of Mysteries, through the door that Harry has been dreaming about. Uh, we are here to find Sirius, who's being apparently being tortured by uh, Voldemort. So we'll, we're going to try and find him and see if he really is being tortured by Voldemort, I guess. So I think it looks really cool uh, in here, very similar to the movie with the orbs everywhere. There's a lot of orbs in this area. Um, uh, the prophecy orbs. I think these orbs are like, um, it tells like the story of every single human and that's what this is. I don't know if it's every single human also muggle uh, borns or if it's just um, Wizards and witches. I don't really know about that. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure. I would like to know though. I should read more up on it. I probably knew it before, but I always forget like Harry Potter knowledge, which is horrible. I don't know. I don't want that to happen. But um, it's it's not been too long since I've read a Harry Potter book or seen a movie. But um, yeah, I'm really in the mood for watching the movies again though, and also reading the books. So I should be doing that. So it turns out that Sirius has not been tortured by Voldemort and he's actually not here at all. It was just a prank all along. Lucius Malfoy and Bellatrix was strange and the rest of the Death Eaters have tricked us to come here so that they can attack us. That's not good, so we need to get out of here before these Death Eaters take us out. Uh, now, um, this sequence that we are in right now, it's um, it's kind of like a, it's not a chase, but you have to run basically, like everything is crashing around you, like sometimes what happens in the Tomb Raider, like uh, in my Let's Play that I'm doing right now, if you're not watching the Tomb Raider Let's Play, go watch it, because it's actually a really good game, very good game, 
you should watch it. But yeah, there we got the Gryffindor house crest. As you can see, everything is falling around us. And I just want to get the studs, even though I'm risking being uh, hurt and killed. Oh, our godfather and the rest of the Order of the Phoenix are here to help us. That's so nice. So cute. And here's a random student in peril. Like these students that are in peril, they show up at the most strangest random places. Like I don't understand what the student is doing in the Department of Mysteries. It doesn't make sense at all. But um, it's the Lego game, and it's supposed to be funny and random, and a bit like uh, what the hell. It's kind of supposed to be a bit like that, so yeah, it's just funny. But it doesn't make sense at all, that's my point. But that just makes it even more funny, I guess. Uh, so now we're going to be helping our fellow um, Dumbledore's army. mates from the Death Eaters. As you can see now, we are going to be helping Neville away from Bellagers Lestrange. You just have to get random objects, spin them around and throw it at the Death Eaters and that's basically how you do it. It's pretty simple. This whole level is pretty simple and it's not really too long either. That's why the video is quite short. It's not really a long level. Not at all. There's that, uh, I don't know what to call it, like a door, it's uh, a gateway, I don't know, a gateway to uh, death, I guess. Uh, yeah. And now we're saving Ginny, the last of the Dumbledore's army. And there's Remus Lupin! He's here too. Oh, and now we're ending it ending up in a duel. So Sirius, he's going to fight Bellatrix Lestrange, his cousin. I think she's his cousin. I don't think uh, she's in, uh, his sister. I definitely think it's his cousin. And Harry is fighting Lucius Malfoy. So we all know how to do the jewels by now. Sirius, he has quite a lot of spells so you don't have to use the shield too often since we already have the spells. But he doesn't have this spell, which is uh, focus, I think. It's very similar to the other spell that we learned in Prison of Azkaban with Remus Lupin in Defense Against the Dark Arts class. I can't remember the name though. But that spell is quite similar, like the look and the color and the field and the sound. Yes, Dumbledore is here to save the day. Yes, this is the only time we will be doing this. Dumbledore versus the Voldemort boss battle. Ba battle. Battle. Boss battle. This is the only time this is happening ever in Harry Potter. The only time they ever fought against each other is this. So yeah, that, this is really cool. It's uh, This whole boss battle is the exact same as 
in the movie with uh, all the spells and stuff like that. Um, what was I going to say? But in my opinion, it it feels a little bit uh, like clunky or clumsy in this game. I don't know what it is, but you don't really fight too much. You just like make stuff and stuff like that. It would this battle would have been much cooler if it was like with other more other spells. If Dumbledore had like. Um, exclusive spells or something that we hadn't seen before. I still want it to be similar to the boss battle in the movie, but this boss battle just feels a little bit clunky and clunky in this uh, in the game compared to the movie. Fudge Wizen Gummit. Uh, for example, this we're just um, using Wingardium um, Leviosa on this water ball and putting it on Voldemort. It just seems a little bit strange, in my opinion, but uh, it doesn't really matter, to be honest. It doesn't really matter. It's still a good boss battle, I guess. And then you have these usual ones, like this. Uh, but this is quite cool, though. They have... Uh, they included this, as in the movie, when uh, Voldemort... Uh, breaks all of the glass and uh, and makes it um, go straight for Dumbledore. Uh, but in this game, basically what we're doing is that it gives us Lego pieces and then Harry has to like Wingardium Leviosa it together like that and then he's going to throw it at Voldemort and that makes him lose uh, one health basically. So we have to do that three times, that um, uh, complete same thing, because he has two health left, so we have to do it two more times, uh, the exact same thing, the exact same thing. But that's okay, I'm not complaining about doing the same thing over and over, I understand. I think it's really cool that Voldemort has quite a lot of health in this battle, because that just makes it seem like it's... Uh, that he's super strong and powerful, and I like that part of um, the boss battle. So yeah, now we're going to hurt him for the last time and um, finish off this boss battle. Here we go! And that is the end of the level, free play unlocked, and the end of Order of the Phoenix. Of course, there is an ending cutscene after this. I really hope you enjoyed Order of the Phoenix, and come back for the next part when we will be starting Year 6 of Blood Prince, which I'm actually really looking forward to. So yeah, join me back for the next part. Like the video, comment, share the video, and also subscribe to my channel. And stay tuned now for the ending cutscene. See you guys in the next part, part 9. Bye bye!